Hi, my name is Steve Fulton and welcome to Real Magic Review and today I'll be talking about Memoraid by Chris Rawlings. Before we do this, usual things, like if you like it, subscribe to it if you want to subscribe to it, comment, I'll answer your questions. I will be going live a bit more. I know I haven't in a long time, but I did one the other day and I quite enjoyed it. So um, I will hopefully be answering your questions in the live things. And of course, check out onlinemagic.co. Lots of new members, loads of people loving it. Still no negative feedback. So have a look at that 900 plus videos, new stuff all the time, live sessions every week. And we have a special guest this week. Yay. Uh, I won't say it now just in case it doesn't happen, but it, it, it is, I think. But uh, special guests the best magicians in the world, all for $9.99 a month. It's preposterous. How long can I continue to do that for? Who knows? Not long by uh, judging by my bank balance, but <laughs> there you go. I'm just completely in awe because I, I have no clue how you would even manage to to remember 50 odd cards and, and so quickly. And, and it, yeah, I'm just totally baffled. Memory Master it is the name of the game. And the point of this a bit like predictable that Chris came up with last time which was great this looks and feels and actually plays like a game it's got instructions in it that you can go through with your spectator and participant and you can actually play this as a kind of memory game he's come up with this really nice thing I'm not saying nobody's done it before so don't start typing in but as he did it's it's a well-made box it looks great on your shelf for some people that isn't important for me I, I kind of like it so this is genuinely, and I don't believe it when a lot of people say this, it's a kind of utility thing. There is so much you can do this. The routines he gives you are great, but as he said in it, which again, I sometimes don't trust, where they say you're going to get this and just improvise around it and you'll sit with someone and you'll just think last minute, oh, I'm going to do that. But you genuinely do. So briefly, it is a game of memory. So you go through the instructions if you want to do that routine and you start off and you deal, you say, right, shuffle them, cut off a few. I'm going to look at, I don't know, maybe 12 cards really, really quickly. Um, and then without looking, deal them into coloured and black and white images. So half the images are colour, half are black and white. And you do that and then you basically build that up. Cut off a group of images in less than 10 seconds. Remember the sequence of colour versus non-coloured images. There's your cat from earlier. Tree and a butterfly. Wow, yeah, that's amazing. And over here. <laughs> so then you do another thing where they can kind of turn over two. You look at it very quickly and tell them what one they've turned over. And then you lead up to this thing, which he doesn't do as the end thing. He does in this set routine. The end thing that he does is this thing of giving them a card first and then at the end going, that's the card you've got, which is great. It's like a beginning of the whole thing take one card away and by the end of this I'm going to know what card's missing but the bit that I love which is based on his pseudo routine which he did with playing cards is this thing of dealing out looking at the cards really quickly like look really quickly saying I'm going to memorize all of them and dealing them into different piles and you've got four piles you turn over two piles and they're the black and white images two piles and they're the color images but then you say look but these ones are all five six letters and below these ones are all six letters and below. These ones are more than seven letters, so you've separated them into a further, a further pile. And it's got that rhythm like a kind of magic square rhythm where you go, I've done this, but then I've done this, then I've done this. And it's a great routine. I have performed it. And it looks, even though it's not supposed to be magical, it's supposed to be a memory, if you do that presentation of, of a memory demonstration, it does feel like a real mind blower. So it's basically... A deck of cards with the images on them, like I said, black and white in colour, and they're different. I'm not going to give everything away, but you can differentiate them secretly as well. And there are ways of looking and knowing exactly what's what. That's all I'll say. Now, the thing that you're going to have to look at to know what's what is really clear, clear as a bell. You are going to be able to have to kind of familiarise yourself a little bit with some of the patterns so you can look very quickly and go, it's that. That's not going to take you long at all. This is a super easy routine, but, but the more comfortable you get with it, the 
harder you can make it for yourself, if you see what I mean. You can start doing really a genuinely, genuine memory genuine memory demonstrations with it. And by that I mean he's got this bit where, you know, they shuffle and cut off a lot of cards and you look at them quickly, deal them out, and then, like I said, separate them into black and white and colour images. Now, there's a way of doing that that isn't a trick. And when he said, look, you can actually learn to do this, I kind of went, oh, I can't do that. My memory is shocking. And then he introduces you to the pattern principle. Now, the pattern principle, and this isn't really reviewing the trick, but this is why I love these sort of routines, especially because he goes into quite a lot of depth in the um, tutorial. Semi-automatic, it's in a different place, but semi-automatic card tricks, volume three. I know a lot of you have got that. Called the pattern principle by Lewis Jones. It's a way of memorizing where the reds and blacks are in a deck. And it is incredible. Within a few minutes of reading it, I could cut about 12 to 15 cards, look at them quite quickly, and then without looking, deal them into uh, black and reds. Right. Let's see if I can do this. This is someone with zero working memory. See if we've done it. Red, 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 black, 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 black. Look at that, and that is not with much practice, and that is the pattern principle, genuine memory uh, without using marks. It's so powerful, and I suppose the reason I'm telling you this is because it, you can go down that route as well if you want. You can play this with someone as a genuine, genuine memory thing and then start bringing cheating. Like he says, I, I kind of feel a bit iffy doing that. You can start kind of cheating with members of your family and getting money involved. He doesn't say that. So the routines are great. He's got a grid routine where you turn your back and someone deals out a grid of cards. You look at them very quickly, turn around, they de um, turn around one or two and you can tell them what ones you've turned around. Then that again builds up to a, a, a climax, a big finale. You can start getting card slights involved when I mean, you don't need to there's no sleight of hand required in this at all it's completely slight free but if you put like a card force a really open card force into it and mix it up again it, it takes them off of that path of going on oh, maybe he's doing this but the reason this is so nice i think again similarly to predictable is that even though it's a card trick it doesn't feel like one and i know some people like myself go well I, i'm quite happy just doing card tricks and some of these things can feel like you've kind of just come up with a different thing for the sake of it being different. But that whole sitting with someone and doing the whole memory thing from a game does feel very different. And it does really get them off the scent of it being a card trick. Now, it's the funny one when you talk about the presenting this as a memory feat, because then you're not doing a magic trick. And I've kind of, I'm a bit conflicted about this. Sometimes if I'm going to sit with someone now for five minutes and do this, it's going to really impress them. But is it going to be as magical as a magic trick? And I don't know. I think it's totally fine to do magic and in the middle of it going, I'm a magician. I'm just sort of a bit like I do in mentalism. I'm getting really interested in the idea of memory because I've got a terrible memory and I'm trying to improve it. So is it OK if we try something? So to divert away from that not only gives variety because it's not cards, but it's also got another premise of feeling to it so even if you were to do this with cards which you could you could take these teachings and do them with cards I think it would still feel different from a card trick and I think that's what's really interesting about this so I do think it works professionally but you do have to sit with someone and I think the strength in this is sitting with someone for a long time and just seeing go oh actually I'm going to try this and this and this and then improvising around what the cards do which is a lot and there's a lot that I haven't mentioned here but the ease of of which you can do it this sort of hidden in plain sight thing is is so clear that you're going to feel very comfortable very quickly with it i think and then you can just kind of start experimenting and because you're doing memory of course you can take your time like the bit where you deal the 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 colors black and white and the less or more than six letters thing it's okay to kind of go oh, i'm trying to think and take your time but after a while you'll realize it's a really clever system again which doesn't take any memory work where you can start just, and he gives you some real tips to sort of look away and place ones down. And it's just, it's, it's very entertaining to watch. First time I saw Chris perform, he um, was a support act for Luke Germay, who performed, 
I put his show on up here in Sheffield and he did the whole thing as a memory act and he still does that and I really enjoyed it. It, it felt really fresh. Even though part of me was sort of going, I know it's kind of man, ma magic mentalism tricks, but then a few times I was going, but is it? And it, it, I think it's a, it's a nice way of changing things up. So there is loads more that this can do, but all I'll say, it's, a, it's really nice, well made. It will last you for a long time. You can just put a band around it and you've got the two instruction cards here. So you can put a band around it and walk around there. So they're not kind of, you know, looking at that too much. Not that they really have to. It, it, even if they do, it doesn't really matter. Um, and I think a few people, it's been out for a while. So the people I know have got it are having a really nice time with it and really enjoying the learning from it. So, uh, and of course the performance. Now I haven't got performance footage of this. I have done it on family members and stuff, but like I said, it's a sit down and do it thing. And if I wait too much longer, I'm never going to get the review out because as I said, it's been out a while, but I, it's really worth checking out. Uh, and I don't think there's anything else I've forgotten, but there always is, so feel free to comment with any questions and I'll do my very best to answer them. And if I do forget, comment again and go, oi, answer me question please, and I'll do that. So thanks very much for sending Memoraid to me. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for your continued support. Have a look at the links below and of course, have a look at onlinemagic.co. That's the best way of supporting your magic and the channel so I can keep doing this for as long as I can. Have a good one. Take care. Cheers.